Okay, I'm going to play some more Brogue, the Community Edition, 1.9.3. So I think that they're sizing a bit better. I just, I closed out of it and just came right back. It remembers your, your settings, as long as you don't reset your cache or anything. So I'm right here, so I'm at. I click the search button. Here was it actually. There we go there, a little more. I had it scaled up a little, but that's all right. So I'm searching, so that red bar there. And if I just, it'll just search. That's actually not what I want to do. I want to head down to the... No, 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 no. You don't want that. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll, we'll just use the mouse for now. Yeah, we'll just do that. I'm going to go... Where was that? That's my goblin. Filthy little primate. Okay. Oh, and the other thing, what Brogue does, as other games won't do, it's not seen in here, but it'll say what they have. That makeshift stone spear, that's not that I might have taken, fortunately. But say if an ogre has a key or something. All right, level four, depth four, I should say. And what do I want to do here? I got a pit. What is that a pit? Guys, in there. That is a rickety rope bridge. Yeah, hmm. that's something. I actually see a lot from here. I wonder if my friends will come down. My allies. I might have to. Have. Two. Okay, they're coming out. Good, 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 good. That's nice. Hmm. So did I pan out a little bit? No. Alright. So I can remember to... Because I, I wish I could change the settings on it just because the view is up there, but sometimes it's up there. It's a little wonky. Over here. Hmm. Grass. You know what? I haven't used any potions or scrolls yet, so... I don't want to use those so I have to, a monkey. I just sleep. Can I have a pad want to work now? Now okay, I'm push the number pad button on there. I don't know, it's, it's just it's a roguelike and I prefer using the number pad for all possible. Enemy monkey. I you know, honestly I prefer to just let my goblin deal with him. He's not gonna steal anything the goblin goblin have anything to steal. Enemy goblin, I'm gonna creep around. See if the monkey will engage me. Hmm. The goblin cuts the monkey. Your monkey tweaks the monkey. The monkey bites your monkey. Hmm. All right. So the goblin's wandering. That that goblin here. He hasn't seen me yet, which is good, because I got some cover from the grass. Monkey defeats monkey. Cool. He is wandering. He didn't see me yet. He dispatched a goblin catching him unaware. So I was creeping through the grass and I kept up and cut his throat. Very nice. No XP though, remember? Goblin Conjurer. Okay, alright. Creep, 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 creep. Up, oh, still asleep, man. Cool. Ah, I got him. He dispatched a conjurer, conjurer in its sleep. That's excellent because he summons things, as the name might imply. Uh, should have he's hunting. I want the potion. I'll take it. He missed purine potion. I hit him. He skewers me. Hmm. I hit the goblin. Goblin, goblin, kill. He, does he have anything actually? I mean, he's right on me. I'll kill him. But my staff of firebolt. See, it's telling me how I could deal with him. I deal with the staff. That the staffs recharge. I don't waste it though. I don't want to cause a fire. Got him. He didn't have anything. We're not that banged up. Not going to rest yet. It's a rat. It is sleeping. And, you know, I think the sleeping should be in a different color. Like, sleep should be associated with, I don't know, Z's or something. Maybe give it, like, a black and white outline or something. Like, you know, just little things like that to draw the eye. Because though this ASCII hit makes excellent use of color. And if you contrast that to an older roguelike Angband, for instance, other rat woke up. Which doesn't really have great use of color, or more, which doesn't have any color at all. Good grayscale. Oh, that's a downstairs right there. Good. I'm not going to leave yet, because remember, the only way I get stronger is finding potions. Or items. So, it's all items. A crimson potion. That doesn't tell me anything in and of itself, because I don't know what crimson potions are. Auto picked it up. Cool. Name band, you'd click G to get normally, right? It is a no hack. That is a scroll named Green 
phlegm grimp. Okay. Hmm. Goblin wandering. As long as they're not hunting and I can hit them close. Yeah, I think he's some monkey. Monkeys are very sneaky. Monkey. Goblin misses monkey. Okay. Monkey punches goblin. Okay. I mean, I don't want to lose any allies. I might. Okay, I displaced. Your monkey defeats goblin. Monkey's pretty ripped. Well done. Monkey's unarmed. That monkey should hang back. I don't think there's a way to give direct commands on them. Okay, that's, that's a pit. If I look over here. You remember what it's saying. You see the ground. You see ground. Just confirms there ain't nothing in there. Oh, it's okay. It's wall. All right. Doesn't really matter, but so this. This will do as let's click over here so I can quickly get over there. Just for like quick exploring. So door to the north. Hmm. An alarm trap. Yeah, it's over there. An enemy monkey there. What if the monkey would run to that and summon monsters? That's probably what that would do. That'd be bad. Does the monkey have anything? He can steal. Yes, I could. They love to steal. But I just want to see if there's anything in that corner. I mean, my monkey's going to probably wake him up, so I should probably kill him anyway. Yeah, he's up now. That's fine. Gotcha. The floor is splattered with blood. The monkey stole a yellow potion. You hit the monkey. Your goblin stabs the monkey. Monkey's dead now. The monkey missed. I missed? You don't miss. He dodged. Monkey dodged. Yes. That's an old thing from, I remember Final Fantasy, you know, the first Final Fantasy. The one who was <laughs> there. Square actually thought it would be a Final Fantasy, right? That's why they named it that. Where heroes would miss all the time. It's like, what? No, heroes don't miss. The enemy dodged, right? They learn that later. Miss. Unexciting. Alright. Those are JRPGs, though, which, you know. They like the, most of them like the customization I require. So I don't play much of them anymore. You develop a telepathic bond with your monkey. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Monkey and I are one. Mutant powers, why not? That's actually cool, because it's cool. That should give us shared vision. I don't know if I need a blindfold or anything, so. Which monkey was it? My special monkey, probably the monkey I've had the longest. Hmm. I'm one with Monkey. Hmm. I should... Thinking. I could head over here. I need to head back here anyway, because that's the stair down, so let's go here. Hmm. I'm thinking there's the rope bridge there I can why would it there has to be something there there has to be I it's just gonna get harder as I go down I have to look you do have a telepathic bond with your monkey the other monkey I'm imagining that's a rat so in that corner I'm die, I'm die. okay it's a fast the rat catching nowhere I stomp it <laughs> stomp stuff why not why risk the blade when a foot will do, right? There we go. So I can see across the pit there, you see. I don't see anything in that corner. If I can see anything in that corner, I'm not going to bother. Oh, oh, looking. Oh, there's a door. I see a door to the east. I have to head over there. Ah, I see you. That's, I need that. Do, 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 do. Okay, because we know those are there. I have to remember those are there. Let's check on the corner here. There's a door here, too. Anything in the corner? I mean, I'd had something in that corner. Uh, let's open the door. K. K is cobalt. He's wandering. He didn't see me yet. He is not very... <laughs> see, they're not very good at their jobs, wandering. Well, you gotta admit, like, it's the middle of the night. They're sleeping. They hear a noise. They wake up all groggy. It's dark, and some dude just kicks open the door and cuts them, cuts them down, right? I'm not a good person. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Ooh, money. The uh, thing about money in this is it's just score. It doesn't actually do anything for you. There's no shops. Wow. I know. Manhack has shops, just saying. Okay. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So, blood, blood wart stocks are there, three of them. And a potion, a gray potion, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go get that potion. Gimme. Score. So, my, my plan is to gather as many potions and scrolls as I can, then by process, well, process of elimination, determine what they are, but through a little bit of meta knowledge of roguelikes, traditional roguelikes, I can infer what the most the most common scroll is, is likely to identify. So, what's that? Split mail! No question, the 17 to use, though. I'm gonna take, take it, definitely. 
thick plates of metal are embedded into a chainmail base, providing the wearer with substantial protection. Carries a penalty of minus 12.5 because of my inadequate strength. Yeah, my strength is 12. If I can find strengths of potions of strength, I probably have quite a few. I can gradually reduce that penalty. It, it ruins my. It kind of messes up my stealth. Which is stealth's really helping me now, so I'm probably not going to wear this. This would increase my armor. Well, it, it wouldn't. <laughs> I'm running of zero because I, I can't effectively use it. I guess my guy's super deconditioned. Which is kind of wild. What is my... I just want to see how my... Expect my leather currently. I think it's worn. Uh, I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing it, or it is physically worn. What do you mean? Basic protection, no intrinsic... My excessive strength, really. <laughs> Whatever, I guess I'm getting three off it. Alright, cool. I can call it something else, I can relabel it, I can throw it, do it. <laughs> this makes me think of a, a... It's not an old roguelike, it's a new one, it's in development. What is it? I don't remember what it's called. I remember it later, of course. It it does like the, the really old school thing of... There's like, every item has throw, drop, eat. So, <laughs> I was clicking a bit too quickly and I ate my leather armor, my guy choked to death. It was, it was not amusing. It's like... That's the kind of thing, unless my guy's like crazy off Ild of Energy, he wouldn't do that. I mean, he's he has basic common sense. He managed to get down here without a collar on his neck or something, right? He's not that dumb. Is he? Is he? Right? No, 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 I don't, I don't want to do those things. Thank you. Okay, so let's go pick that up. I'm going, I'm going to take that. Now, this game, I I don't remember what the inventory limit is. It's not as strict as Angband's. So the Angband limits you extremely on how much stuff you can carry. You can't carry much at all in Angband. It's kind of craftastic. I don't actually like that about it. Because it doesn't even assess weight. Like You can have like one dart, one arrow. Those take up two different things. And you have a soup chainmail. It takes up one other. It's like, what? Is it, is it, oh, what's that? Oh, I know what that is. Okay. Mm. All of my friends. I'm actually doing pretty good. Do I want to... Doors auto-close. That's handy because it breaks line of sight. My guy's courteous like that. He closes the door if you're in the room. He's polite. Hmm... I want to... S is that all... What is that? Chasm. That's all chasm, isn't it? Withered fungus. So that would burn. Uh, what is... I don't think there's anything there. I, I want to look. Uh, I, I, I probably shouldn't, but I want to know. This is all procedural generations. Oh, should I cross the bridge? Monkeys might do something stupid. If I cross the bridge. You know, it's fine. If I, oh, I'm getting hungry. Crap. If I fall, I'll live. You see a jackal. Four jackals. They're just coming. All right, time to go. Time to go, monkeys. I don't... Well, I could kill them, of course. I don't want to reuse my wand of fire, my staff of fire. That'd be ex extreme... Well, perhaps I do. Fall back, goblin monkey friend. I have an idea. No, no, no. Stupid. Whatever. Whatever. I'm leaving. Do what you guys want. Fall back a little bit. Do a little bit. Get off the bridge, guys. Come on. Fall back. Like, Alright, so what can I do? Now I have inventory, and I have the Staff of Firebolts. This staff only bursts of magical fire. It will, it will ignite flammable terrain and burn any creature that it hits. Creatures with immunity fire will be unaffected. Yep. And it says where I found it. Maximum four charges. Covers a charge. 125 turns. I wonder if, say if I fire a shot, do I need to recharge for 125, or can I fire it, and then we'll just progressively just build back up to the cap before... Deals damage to any creature that hits unless creatures need to fire. If it's enchanted, its average damage will increase. Oh yeah, there's gold and enchanting. I'm going to uh, apply it. Not to use it. Okay, so I wonder if... Boom! So I, the flame kills the jackal. And that, if I look at that, you see billowing flames. So that should drive that jackal back. Jackal, I prefer not. Okay. Hmm... I mean, do they have anything? Jackals don't have any pockets, right? They move quickly. Yes, they move. They have double move. It's time to go. Those are spawns. I don't want to deal with them. So the flame. See the flame destroyed the bridge. It's it's destroying the bridge. A puddle of urine covers the spot. Thank you, monkeys. Thank you. They do that. I don't have daggers on my monkeys, so they're going to peek when I go. That's fine. Hopefully, my allies will fall back to this. I'm hungry, aren't I? Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. When you get hungry, I have your inventory. You should eat. I will look at these rations. 
A ration of food was left by former adventurers. There's a curious byproduct of this subterranean ecosystem. You're hungry enough to fully enjoy it. So apply it to me. And I am fed. The food tasted delicious. I always thought roguelikes should have, like, a mood modifier, right? If, say, if you save your cat, you can pick, like, quarks and things. Ah, there's a really cool post-apocalyptic roguelike. There's this Cataclysm DDA with moods and stuff. Like, so you can be, like, have problems with gluten or lactose, things like that, and they'll, they'll mess up your morale. Like, they mess up, give you stomach issues, right? Like, that would be cool in this. For other games, like, food isn't food, right? It depends on what kind of food you're So, if you say if it's a really good meal, it's your character's favorite meal, it increases their morale, right? Maybe makes them stronger or faster, stuff like that. Don't want to kill those. I don't want to lose a monkey. That would displease me. But, uh, well, let's just, let's just head over here. I prefer not to engage. There's only two jackals. You know, I have, I have forces. Gather around, monkeys. Monkeys, what are you doing? What are you doing? No monkey bites. They need me. I can't abandon my friends. No goblin defeats you. Well done. Okay. My shorter monkey. Well, oh, maybe. Come over here. I'll kick this. And chill, 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 chill. Cool. I think I lost the monkey. That's unfortunate. Oh well. It happens. So if you know it, you can't move diagonally. So I was clicking one on the edge of a corridor. So from here, I can't one over because the wall blocks me. There's some games like, actually Adam does this. Ancient Domains of Mystery Wizard. unless you literally fire on corners. It's weird. Like you can like fire straight and say there's an enemy here. Or, or, or I can't really see an area to really demonstrate it properly. Maybe I'll find one down there. But essentially there can be, let's say if you were... Nah, I don't see it. I'll, I'll show it later. Descending down to depth five. I've not used my potions yet, so. Ooh, what's that? Money? I don't care about money. My character would, because that's, that's his pension, that's his retirement, but. <laughs> since I, as player, can't use it, I mean, it's, it's all for him, really. Oh, uh, what am I seeing? What am I seeing? Luminescent fungus. Cool. I like that. They're, they're actually indicating, hey, you can actually see down here in depth five. It's going to kind of dark. Got some murky waters. We're not going to play in those. Another potion. A candlelit altar. That right there. Hmm. Uh, if those fungus will probably burn. What is that? Dead foliage. Foliage. <laughs> what is that? Stone wall, shallow water. I could muddy through the shallow wall water. I'd pref I suppose I have to. The water's cold. It reaches your knees. That's a rat. What is that? B. Beta. Marble statue. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Mischievous trickster. He can steal. I'm just seeing if they have anything, you know. It doesn't seem they do. Step out of the water. And the rat's hunting, so I'm not going to be able to instant kill it. But it's the rat. Come on. I probably didn't even need to do that, honestly. What's that? Merit tote. Oh, okay, it's, an, it's a monster. A prism of shoulder high merit surfaces gleams in the darkness. The merit totem deals no direct damage. It is immune to my attacks. Huh. My firebolt will not hurt the totem. Does not regenerate. Cast beckoning. Is an inanimate object. Cannot move. Is immune to damage. Immune to fire. Cannot be entangled. What does it do? It just looks shiny? Alright, let's, let's stay away from the shiny thing. It's ominous. It concerns me. I'll take the gold. Warhammer, so that. I'm probably not strong enough to use it effectively, but I want it. What is that? Is that... You see a scroll, okay. And that's the, the Warhammer, okay. So I gotta get over there. What's that? A magical glyph. Hmm, that's super, isn't it? No, it's not. I imagine it'd be bad. Oh, it's protecting the doorway. Of course it is. Hmm. Let's sit over here. What's T? T is Toad. Okay, I remember that. Toad is sleeping. Rat is sleeping. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Uh, they're hunting. Forest spatter with blood. Kill the rat. What happened there? Uh oh! The toad slimes you. Begin to hallucinate. It's not good. Yeah, I'm starting to see stuff. 
So what that means is stuff's going to randomly change. I can't trust what I see. But I have to remember it's a toad. It's not a goblet collector. It, I defeated the merit toad. Or no, I, I know what I defeated. See, I have to wait for the hallucination, which drains my satiation. I remember that's a statue, though. That is a marble statue. Can I push it? It does not seem like I can push it. If I can look past it. See how they tease you? I can look past the statue, and that's the magical glyph. God knows what it would do. Teleportation trap. I don't know. And there's a carpet. An Alexandrite ring. There's a ring. This is another treasure room. I don't want to miss this. A used staff. I like the staves. A negation charm. Ooh. Hmm. I want that. Although, can I trust my eyes? I am hallucinating. A crat jackal's crying. Oh No, no, he's not. Remember, I'm still seeing shit. <laughs> so... I can't trust my eyes anymore. Stone Guardian Spider. This is actually kind of scary. Because I could walk into something really... It's step five. It's probably not even too much. That's an item. I think it is. You have three... Ah, it tells me it's an indigo potion once again in my hand. What is that? I don't know what it is. Attack it. You hit the Warden of Yendor. The Ifrit misses the city and stuff. It's not that. It's already dead, whatever it was. So it's not that. Spectral sword? No way. That's what the ogre shaman was laughing. Time to go. <laughs> See, that potentially could be an ogre shaman. I don't know what to do with him. Toes can really screw you up. Phantom, spectral sword, a uh, fury. As we get deeper, I think you're concerned. I'm going to scroll. What? Maybe. Let's see what's over here. Goblin crying. It's funny, that's the hallucinations. Something up here. Let my mind reset your hallucinations fade. Excellent, so what is actually down here? A captive monkey. Good, to replace the one I lost. With the chains, see the chains on him. Of course, monkey. You free the monkey and gain a fateful ally. Why would I never not free him? It seems a false choice, right? It's just... Like, you free him when you don't. I mean, I don't have to feed him or anything. I can't really order him around. He just kind of does this monkey thing, right? Mm -mm, whatever. Let's head over here. I don't know if there's a command. All right, the Mary Totem. The rings. I do want the rings. See what stopped me? Hmm. That is a cobalt. He is wandering. And now he is dead. Oh, no. Go, go, go. I can't attack Diagon when I see it. Because around the corner. He, oh, he sees me now. What? I probably should have waited, honestly, wait for him to around the corner and then cut his throat. Or stab through his eye or something. I'm using a... what am I using? Short sword? Dagger. I'm still rocking a dagger, huh? I can throw it, but as you've seen from my previous video, they mulch. You don't get them back, which isn't great. Like, completely, if they hit something. Except for a pressure plate, I guess. A simple iron dagger. Hmm. Quadruple damage upon a successful sneak attack instead of triple. So that that's his main thing. Daggers are really good at cutting throats and stabbing through hearts and all that fun stuff, right? There we go. Cool. Yeah. My backpack is full. That's not cool. Well that that's that's the game telling you, yeah, well you are you <laughs> like Aang Ben in terms of what you can carry. This this looks about right, A through O. And I guess they're counting my equipment as well. So I they're telling me I should probably start drinking things. That's kind of what they're telling me. The inventory screen? Chill out, chill out, man. Thank you. Uh, we gotta find a place to drink stuff. Hmm. Buy water's not bad, in case it's fire, right? Preferably buy stuff that's not ignitable, so I have a safe spot I can go into. Shallow water, not deep water. Shallow, shallow, good, good, good. So I should do it by shallow water. Because if it's a potion of flame, uh, other interesting things can happen. Yes, they can. And it can be worse than fire. Hmm. This place is a little narrow. Like, I could get trapped here and die. That's, that's a bad place. Oh, I gotta get out of here. That's not good. That's a... That's a bastard monkey. A uh, bastard monkey. I don't want to deal with you. I gotta find a place. I could head back up. You can head back up in this. Alright, monkey... Monkey's just kind of chilling. That, that works for me. He's probably gonna see me. Mm, he sees me now. All right, monkey, come on. Yes, yes! Gage. The goblin scares the monkey. The goblin <laughs> tweaks. The monkey tweaks your goblin. 
I'll just kill him because I just come back behind and steal something from your zone. Because they'll do that. Uh, I don't know what that does. It concerns me. I want what's in there. I need what's in there. I'll explore the rest of the level. Could this work? Hmm. Scroll. I need that scroll. Good, good, good. Two things of shallow water. You see how engaging the game is? This, this is literally just ASCII graphics. No sound, no music. But that's why it's sucking you in, doesn't it? This is shallow, 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 shallow water. Shallow, wa shallow water. We can play with. I want to go up and get. God damn it. I won't get the Warhammer now because I don't have space for it. I, w I won't get the potions though because they will stack. So I'm talking about what's why I don't like inventory list systems. The area appears to be cloaked in shadows. Perhaps a safe place to hide. Yeah, so I'm harder to see. I get a stealth bonus. There's no light nearby. I can go pick that up. No, I can't. Really? I have like Glen Flem Grem. Oh, this is actually good. This is a good place anyway. Well, it would be if it wasn't that scroll. I accidentally was destroying it. Hmm. What's that? Crimson Potion. Can I take that? Did, did I? It just stopped me because it saw that that totem. All right, so I I pack is still full. Hmm. This is this could work. Eh, all right, all right, fine. All right, so maybe maybe if I do it here, is that deep water? I don't want to do deep water. Sure. All right, this this might be the best I can do. Yeah, hopefully that won't. I just hope I don't drink a potion of flame. I have three potions. They're probably life, the indigo ones. Probably life. That will boost my life permanently. I'm in the dark. All right, indigo potion. These flasks contain swirling indigo liquid. Who knows? I apply it to me. Ah, potion detect magic. Okay. Actually, now we know what those are. You somehow feel the presence of magic on this level and in your pack. Okay, so this tells me where stuff is is on the level. See, it's highlighting things. I know those are magic. They're items. There's items over there, too. Okay, so I should explore over here some more. What else I find? All right, so I have two potions of tech magic. It's interesting. A wand of invisibility. Now we know what that wand is. That's excellent. A staff of firebolt. So if I look at this wand now, because I didn't know previously. A render a creature temporarily invisible to the naked eye. That's actually extremely powerful in this game, because as you saw, I can instant kill things that don't detect me. I might even work on ogres and stuff, which is brutal. Only with telepathy, or in the silhouette of a thick gas, will an observer discern the creature's hazy outline. Interesting. That's really important. Alright, so it wasn't... Hmm. I'm surprised. I figured that'd be her life. Alright, so what's the blue potion? Oh, I don't know. Check. These flasks contain a swollen blue liquid. Who knows? Apply it. Anticipation point? Aha! That was a potion of life. Your maximum health increased by 33%. It must have been a potion of life. Indeed it was. So that will make me more, more tanky. I can take more hits. That's really good. Potion of life again. A swing lick will instantly heal you, cure you of your ailments, and from increase your maximum health. That's really good. Hmm. Interesting. You see the discrepancy there? It will increase your maximum health by 25%. I think if you're at full health and use it, it gives you 33%. That's really interesting. Reminds me of... Was hack. How they do it in was hack is if you drink a potion at max health, you get the bonus, but if you're not at max health, it just heals your period. I'm gonna take apply it again. Maximum health increased by 25%. Hmm. Maybe the first one's 33 and then it's 25. Interesting. Anyway, I'm pleased I took the health. That's good. I want to go pick that up now. Scroll. You have three scrolls entitled Grim Flem Grim. That's interesting. So it's uh, it's counting every scroll as its own thing. Okay, it's addressing one of the issues I have with Angband. Not not in the way I prefer, just letting you carry more stuff or giving you a weight system or stone system. No, it just says, <laughs> those count too. <laughs> like J counts twice, right? Or P counts three times, because there are three of them. That's what it's doing. I don't know. It's like, it's a way of assessing not weight, but volume. But a, a more interesting way of doing volume is just doing the Diablo system. Then you, just, you know, you have swords that are big, scrolls that are small, things like that, right? Anyway, all right. So we know what life is. We know what detect magic is. So I'll know that every time. Hmm. A turquoise potion is probably strength. 
Oh, okay. Apply it. Yes, newfound strength surges through your body. It must have been a potion of strength. Strength 13. Excellent. I figured it was. Those are the most common potions. Potions of life, potions of strength, and I guess... Uh, potion of tech magic are pretty common too, I guess. The powerful medicine, of course, do your muscles permanent increase in strength by one. I love potions that give permanent boosts. I love that. As opposed to just uh, stat increase temporary stuff. Both have their uses, but these this gives you real stuff to find. Makes treasure interesting. Apply it to me. Strength 14, right? Yep, new pound strength serves to your body. That means... Oh my god, it's already been a half hour. <laughs> yeah. That means... Is this worth using yet? I mean, it's gonna ruin my stealth, so obviously not. Because I have other people who can tank from that creep up in the shadows, cut their throat, or stab them hard or something. Hmm. It would give me armor ranking of 1. Still worse than my leather armor, because I'm just so weak. No intrinsic enchantment. So it's not enchanted armor. Oh, but these are, aren't they? Enchanted darts. There's no intrinsic enchantment. Hmm. Wielding? I don't know. The barb spike leaves designed to stick most targets while the compound strapped to its length explodes in flames. Okay, it's like an alchemical dart. Okay, I got you. It's not quite magical per se, I understand. Okay. Okay, thank you, game. Well, I do want to do a little more reading. Uh, this one's probably... Grenflap is probably identified. We're going to read that. These parchments are covered with indecipherable writings. Very title of Gremp Flem Gremp. Who knows what they will do when we're allowed. Well, well I, 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 ooh, scroll enchanting. Okay. Enchant what? Hmm. Enchant my staff of firebolt. Your staff of firebolt gleams briefly in the darkness. Go for magic. So I got one more charge. Permanently. Remember I told you that? What was it? If the staff enchants average damage will increase by 19%. Ew. That's cool. And I got another charge. Maximum one charge. Of five. That's cool. Now, other things. I think the staffs are charged, the wands do not. Staff of uh, Scroll of Enchanting. This ancient enchanting sorcery will imbue a single item with powerful and permanent magical charge. The staff will increase in power and number of charges. A weapon will inflict more damage and find its mark more easily. A suit of armor will attack attacks more often. The magic of a ring will intensify and a wand will gain expendable charges in the least amount that such a wand can be found with worry. Now, I don't want to boost up a wand because they're disposable. Weapons and armor will also require less strength to use. Any curse on the item will be lifted. So yeah, those are cool scrolls. We know another one's up there, so we should probably get that. This one is Pora Ponder Ponder Irma is probably probably identification. It is a scroll of identification. Knew it. Identify what? Hmm. The smart thing to do is identify the most numerous of a thing you have that you do not quite know what it is yet. All right, those are the scrolls. A scroll entitled Harabafapurafam. Okay. I should do potions first, honestly. Uh, what's the great potion? It is a potion of caustic gas. Well, that's nice. It's good. We don't want to breathe caustic gas. That's excellent that I found that was a scary potion. I think the red just indicates I don't know what it is. Potion of caustic gas. Uncorking or shattering this pressurized glass will cause its contents to explode in a deadly cloud of caustic purple gas. Purple. You may choose to fling this potion to the enemies instead of uncorking it by hand. Yeah, that'll win me a fight. Versus lots of things. That's a treasure. We, we saved that. I like that. Hmm. A scroll. Identify another one. A scroll entitled Her Perfabalut. It's covered in decipherable writing. It bears the title. Hmm. Let's go get some other stuff, I think. That seems smart right now, because I can fit more things in my bag now. Is that, please? Let's go get this, because I know what it is. Or I thought it did. Go get it, please. We now have two Crimson Potions. Yay! And that, that's what we know what it is. So it's, that is a... Come on. Warhammer. Okay, I'll take that. You now have a Warhammer. 20. 
That's cool. I could enchant that Warhammer so I could drop its strength requirement to 19. I'm nowhere near being able to use that. Oh, not even close. Few creatures can withstand the crushing blow of his towering mass of lead and steel. One of the strongest adventures can effectively wield it. Mm. So you see how the potion... Oh, and it's enchanted. You feel an aura of beneficial magic radiating from this Warhammer. Hmm. So you see how the game always starts the same, like... I, I've said this before, but level one should always be the tutorial, and then after that you get a, a random assortment of things, like a certain amount of potions and scrolls and items that you find on level one, and then you let you start at two. Because how you customize your character, because you always start the same, is the potions you drink and find, the items you choose to enhance, and this determines your character, right? I, like, my characters lean on magic, because I have the Staff of Fireball, which I've enchanted, I have a one invisibility, things like that, right? Whereas you could also boost strength or enchant the Warhammer so you could effectively use it. Because this is a beastly weapon. Because if it's half to take an extra turn to recover... Oh. Oh, okay, so this is a, this is a big hammer. Because if it's half to take an extra turn to recover when it hits. So you swing, and then your recovery state, and we'll push your opponent backwards if there's a room. So if you miss with this, it's really going to hurt. Interesting, I don't think I want this. I don't know. I mean... It's not quick. Like, the dagger is quick, right? Easy to use, and and it has that times one modifier if you get them when they don't see you, right? And I have other enemies with me, I'm wearing light armor, I have other creatures with me, other targets, and I can creep around the dark, so I should stick with the dagger. Hmm, interesting. I, I mean, I do... Well, who knows? I will hang on to it. It's worth an inventory slot, at least. I, it is enchanted, though. What could it be enchanted with? Now I have to know, right? Like, the potion deck magic tells me what's that what's magic. It doesn't tell me what the magic is. Yeah, different. What could that for scroll be? What could it be? Mm. I'll read the scroll. A scroll entitled Herpabor Por Aborat. Ah. There was a scroll of uncursing. Well, I now know what it is, and nothing is cursed. Okay, that tells me the armor is not cursed, but I would have known that. The, the tech magic would have told me that. Uh, oh, well. I wish I'd hung on to that. That's fine. And I don't know what those are, though. Hmm. I have two crimson potions. Those could be... Those could be something. Anyway, I've been going for 37 minutes. Yeah. And I like this game a lot. This is Brogue Community Edition. It's, it's pretty much Brogue Plus of some... An updated version has some patch updates, fix some odd, uh, some weird bugs. I guess some people encountered. I'd never encountered them when I was playing regular Brogue, but it's pretty good. If you like traditional Rolex, you'll probably like this. And we'll play some more of it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye. -bye.